Hello, and welcome to the MCM Podcast. My name is Max, and this is JR, and we are the co-creators of the Instagram page, Monmouth County Memes. Yeah, and what we uh, what we really want to do with this podcast is sort of just uh, get other uh, influencers, uh, whether they be photographers, videographers, meme pages, uh, just, you know, anything of that sort, and bring them on the podcast and kind of uh, get to know what makes their page unique um, and what they have to offer the people of New Jersey. So today we are ecstatic to say that we get to sit down and talk to the owner of the most popular meme page in all of New Jersey. And honestly, the probably the biggest state meme page in the entire country. I'd agree. Her page averages around 30,000 likes and hundreds of comments per post. Without a doubt, she has had an infinite influence on the NJ meme game and is the sole reason for not only Monmouth County memes, but also several other town and county meme pages being started in the first place. She literally is the reason we started. So you could find her great content at New Jersey Memes on Instagram, Twitter, and even TikTok. Which is the Vine for you younglings. I miss Vine so much. I was just saying like the, the other day, like I literally go up on YouTube and watch those like compilations like Vines that cure my depression because they literally do. <laughs> so funny enough, we even have a group chat um, on Instagram with all these other meme pages and um, they literally call uh, her queen. And I remember one day I was like, yeah, what does that make us if she's the yeah. queen? Because we were pretty good following. And one of the kids literally said, like, we're like the, we're like the family dog. Yeah. <laughs> so I just, we, I took that. I thought it was funny. So everyone, without further ado, I would like to introduce the New Jersey memes creator, Colleen, to our first ever MCM podcast. We're going to have like a little <laughs> yeah. thing going in, like drum clapping. roll. <laughs> okay. Hello. <laughs> Good. So we're just gonna figure out um, how everything sounds really quick. Everything's fine. We're yeah. good to go. Good to go. Hi. So do I sound good? Yeah, you sound good. <laughs> yeah, you sound good. So uh, how are you doing, Colleen? I'm good. How are you? We're good. Just we're good. Loving Excited. The dreary day. <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful out. Great weather. It is. We picked a wonderful day with tons of lighting to do this, our, our first ever. This this just shows it. It's, we're off to a great start. Fantastic. So um, I guess the first thing we can ask is just, you know, whatever you're willing to talk about and just tell me about, tell us about yourself. Um, yeah. So Monmouth County girl, <laughs> grew up here, lived in a bunch of different towns. Um, yeah, I go to uh, college in Boston, so I am away, but kind of made the page out of homesickness. So that's why really what inspired me was loving Monmouth County and New Jersey and missing it. Okay. Okay. I was, so, you know, we made it not because we miss Monmouth County, but because we were just constantly we can't get out here. Of we it. can't get out of here. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. We're going to live and die here. Yeah. I mean, I was also bored. So, <laughs> there you go. so one thing that I, um, I want to bring up is our uh, lunch at Tommy's Tavern uh, where we were with Overheard. I don't know if I want to say his name yet um, because we haven't had him on. I got to make sure. Um, but I, I thought it was like, we were really pushing for it and it was like on a Saturday, um, just kind of out of nowhere, we were planning it. And then last minute we were just like, let's do it. Um, you know, what, what do you think about that? I thought it was a really great idea. Mark's never been there. Uh, geez, I just said his name, but, um, <laughs> we'll cut he'll find out he'll be here. Yeah. He'll be on the next podcast. I literally want him as the second one. Um, so yeah. How, how was that for you? It was fun. I, you know, <laughs> I told some friends, I was like, yeah, I'm going to go meet up with some of the other meme pages. And they were like, what? They were like, 
be careful like do you yeah, know these people scary. and i was like no but i think it's fine <laughs> so, yeah i thought it was really fun yeah how be many careful. How, question how many of your friends know that you run the page i know you've done like interviews and stuff yeah um so well i started the account because i texted in one of my group chats with some friends from home and i was like wouldn't it be funny if i started a new jersey specific meme page and they were like yeah can you please do that like go do Definitely. that and I was like, okay so i looked on instagram and the handle wasn't taken like new jersey meme so i was like now i have to do it but yeah. anyway um a fair amount of my friends do know because i have like told them i post on like my instagram and i've never like hidden it so i don't want to hide it i feel like sure it would be a strange thing to hide yeah um i definitely did not advertise it as much when it didn't have that many followers because i was like this could be perceived as kind of lame but yeah. <laughs> but now I think this is a good talking point. Yeah. But now I think anyway. it's like, oh, it's cool. Like they're like, oh yeah, it, that girl she runs a meme. I think it was the same thing with people who wanted to become YouTubers ten years ago. It was embarrassing to post YouTube videos. Yeah. yeah. And you know, have like hundred followers and everything like that. Hundred subscribers. Now everyone's just now everyone's it. dream is to be a YouTuber. Yeah, exactly. You know? And whichever YouTubers like don't do that because that is like it's, only like certain people ever get big. Yeah. yeah exactly. It's tough. We know. We used to. I mean, we we're, we're still like we're aspiring slash somewhat failing YouTubers. <laughs> yes. Every year and there we make you'll it never you'll, you guys will never find the page it's never yeah, gonna happen never find it's it. terrible stuff on there so um yeah um jerry you want to bring up yeah the second? so i guess this kind of goes hand in hand i mean you, you said you've never hit it before but i don't know if you've ever actually revealed yourself to people who follow yeah. you so this will be the first time so how do you feel about that um i at first was really scared about it yeah. when the account was smaller because i felt like I didn't want to like reveal my personal identity, not only because like safety, like it's fine. Mm -hmm. It was more about, I didn't want people to perceive the account as bias, but now the account is really big. So it's like, it doesn't matter. People are always asking me questions. They're DMing me like, who are you? Like, who oh my are God. You? Like, like where your, are you from? What yeah. high school do you go to? What's your social security number? Exactly. Like literally everything. Definitely give everything. Them the social. So <laughs> only the social, <laughs> only the social, nothing else. Uh, yeah. You can't know my name, but here's my social security number. <laughs> exactly. So at this point, like I've done interviews and I've said my name and I've like revealed enough details that people have put it together who I am. Sure. So on my personal Instagram, I have like all of these unread like follow requests that I don't know what to do with. Like, I guess yeah. I could let them follow me, but delete them. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. feels like I don't need them to know yeah. about no. me at that level yeah yeah no i totally understand i mean i've kind of been i think if anything max was a little bit more wary at first about us revealing ourselves but we've talked about doing podcasting for a long time yeah something that we've always been interested in but we always were like okay well you need two one of two things to do it you need to have an existing platform or because you look at all these famous people who just go into podcasting and they have these huge followings or you need to be doing it for, you know, like a news you know, yeah. publication who's going to pay you to do it, who's going to market it for you. And, you know, we kind of see Mac Max really started the page for fun. And then once it kind of became bigger, we're like, oh, we have like 18,000 followers. Maybe we could yeah, do something, something big. And we have enough followers that people who are influencers in New Jersey will come on and and that'll, you know, it just seemed like something finally like an opportunity for us to go ahead and try it. So yeah. so I'm excited about it. I'm totally yeah. for yeah, coming I, out I, I, mean, was, I know there's people that we know that are gonna be like oh what the fuck are these guys doing? But, <laughs> yeah, you know it's yeah. still no absolutely yeah i I'm, still get that i get yeah. the like occasional like, dm from page? someone We're who's only. like you are the you run this meme page of course you run this meme page yeah. I'm like, oh, yes yeah, it's yeah. Me. <laughs> i mean with with our like with with me especially i mean it's just um i mean jr um he definitely helped start out in the beginning um and then i really one thing i came about a month ago that i really said i wanted to do this podcast and that's where i wanted to really get him to be a huge role in this and that's why he is a co-creator because i know myself getting all this stuff together neither of us we've all wanted me and jared both want to do podcasts but we needed together to each other to do this um so really you know we're also getting to a certain age i think i talked to you about this like you know we're in college i feel like we're in high school it's a different story as yeah. you get older, you kind of um, realize that, you know, you shouldn't just care so much what people think. And even Absolutely. like it's, it's, it's easier said than done. Mm -hmm. But, you know, what? this is something that has brought so much. Uh, this is one of the best things I've ever done. I really think it's one of the coolest things I've ever done. So I, I really do think there's no other reason I would want to come out as the owners of this page than starting this kind of 
podcasts and stuff like that. And I know even like, uh, you know, Overheard wants to maybe start doing like these breakfast reviews, which I think yeah. are like, you know, the bar stool of New Jersey, which I think could be really funny to do as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think that'd be uh, awesome. You know, I think we could stay stagnant with this page just making memes, but that's, you know, we're going to keep making memes, continue to do this. It's but, cool to push the brand further. But I, yeah, I listen, definitely. this is something for fun. We're not making any money. Yeah. We're down in money by paying yeah, for all this stuff. Yeah, we bought all this equipment and stuff like <laughs> that. So either way, just the fact that, you know, we... Um, are able to want to go through with this and have you on. Thank you for coming of on. <laughs> it's just incredible. So um, I think you already, you know, talked about this uh, somewhat about you being, you know, homesick and being at school. And this is kind of a reason I read a lot of the articles <laughs> that you yeah. already talked about. Um, is there any other reasons that, that you started the page that, that, that you haven't talked about already? Um. Well, it basically spawned out of that. It was a group chat of my friends at college, but they actually all went to high school with me. Um, and we would always talk about, you know, being homesick or when people would make fun of us when we were like, hey, we're from New Jersey. And they would be like, oh, the armpit of America. <laughs> like, I hate New Jersey. Yeah. It's like, have you ever been there? Like, I, I went to college in California for about two and a half years and all my friends were from L.A. And they would all be like, oh, you're from New Jersey uh, and you're Italian. Oh, where's the accent? Where are your wife beaters? Why yeah. isn't your hair slicked back? It's, it's like, like they think you're part of the mob. They photoshop me onto Jersey Shore logos like and send them to me. and oh, think no. it's the funniest thing in the world. And I'm like, oh, it's great. Well, creative. <laughs> yeah, I could see you as like when they did like Michael Sarah. If you ever seen that thing where they made like the Jersey Shore cast made him look like a Jersey Shore character. <laughs> you could look like that. They spiked <laughs> up exactly his spike hair. Like. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we can go to DJ's next Halloween and you could dress I'll up. I'll be Michael Sarah. Oh, in Michael Jersey Sarah Shore. in Jersey Shore. Be yeah. Yeah. It'll be good. I'll yeah. dress like Snooki. <laughs> there you go. I'll get like a really bad spray tan and <laughs> wear a black wig. Oh, yeah. I'll be uh, I'll be Poly D. I get, yeah, we'll we'll both do just the, the, the spiked up, up hair. hair. It'll be good. Great. Um, so what would you say your favorite part of having this following is? You said you started it because you were homesick and it was kind of a way to cope with that. But now that you have, I mean, 182,000 people following you and looking yeah. at your stuff I'm sure every it's day. not a 200,000 right now? <laughs> it could be. I don't know. I mean, you went from like, what, like a thousand in the summer to like 180,000 now? Yeah. It's what crazy. was that? Gr- Colin, what was that growth? Like what? Yeah. So I hit a thousand. So after... I originally started it in July of 2018 and I um, really only posted like New Jersey memes that we had found on Reddit and were sending to each other and it was very sporadic, maybe like over the course of two months. And then I forgot about the account. Um, And at that point I'd amassed like maybe a couple hundred followers, not anything close to like even 500 or a thousand. And then in May I got really bored really homesick because that's the time of year that's like the beach is free they sure. deliver all the palm trees to the beaches and i think that's hilarious when they like plant the palm trees in the ground um so then i started posting more regularly and i hit a thousand followers on june 3rd which was like six months ago yeah <laughs> um, that's insane yeah it was crazy 180 times <laughs> 180 <laughs> times that yeah that's some good wild. math <laughs> so then we, we we planned that out last night we were hoping you would say a thousand and then we're like what's and we had to like write it down. <laughs> we had to put the it in true, the calculator. The true business major I am. I was like, wait, I got this. <laughs> Don't use my calculator. <laughs> yeah. So then after I hit a thousand, it kind of like kind of spiraled from there. And I was growing at 10,000 followers a week for like a couple months, like three or four it's months. Insane. Yeah. <laughs> Which is a lot. It's a lot. And that's of definitely. I remember Max like talking about the page, your page getting big. He's like, oh, Jerry, I'm going to start a meme page. And everyone you told about it, like, like very few people, you were like, everyone was like, that's stupid. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, why, why are you starting that? Yeah. Um, listen, they, they always say, like, whatever, the people, like, there's always going to be people in there yeah. in your life that are going to doubt you, things like oh, that. Yeah. One yeah. of my favorite YouTubers once said, like, you know how you're going to, you're doing something right? When everyone tells you it's the wrong thing to do, that's when you stick your feet in the ground and you keep going forward. It's yeah. not going to be the easiest option. So listen, someone in my past life uh, <laughs> said it was like the dumbest thing of all time. And now yeah. 18, honestly, thousand followers later, basically. She's, she's not one of them. She's not one of them. <laughs> but anymore. A lot of her friends are. So um, whatever. Um, F. <laughs> yeah, press, press F in press the F chat. Press F to pay respects. Yeah. Yeah. Um, funny enough that I was telling JR this. Um, I don't think I ever told you this, Colleen, about this DM. Oh, so Because no. we get DM this a lot. And I feel bad because now I see the opposite end of the spectrum where kids DM us and are like, dude, come on. Like, can we help? Can we be like with the page? Be a part of it. Yeah. Um, 
And I actually DM'd you on my personal <laughs> way back. And I was like, yo, do you need any help with the page, this and that? And guess what? Stone cold. She just like, she like didn't even just not respond. She like reported my page. Like, kicked me off. I'm just kidding. I was like, <laughs> like kick, oh, kicked me that. off Instagram. Like, no, I, she just didn't respond. But I saw your, I just, I, I honestly, you are, your page is the reason um, that, that we created ours. So, um, I, I saw that, that was just a funny story, but we, yeah, I was going to say it has to be up just a little well, you bit. You got a little loud. So I yeah. turned the volume down. Um, so yeah, I just, I, I, I we made it around, what was it July, July, July 5th. 4th, July 4th or it was the 5th. Fir- 5th was the first post. Yeah. I think it was made on July 4th. So it's like six months since and 18,000 followers later. I mean, supposedly people say we, we bought those, um, you yeah. know, our like, we looked up like there's that like calculator you could do oh, on like, yeah, the engagement yeah, yeah. and like I looked up the average is on Instagram's like two or three so yeah. percent. We're at like twelve percent. Yeah, we're like twelve percent. Yeah. But we bought them. But we bought. We bought them. all. We're of a typical them. influencer yeah. that like not has, only not only did we buy them, but we go on our own phones, log into each and every account, and like the photo. Oh yeah. One yeah. at a time. That's how yeah. we do it. That's what I do too. Exactly. And yeah. you have one hundred and eighty-two thousand <laughs> logins. So she has one hundred and eighty thousand. <laughs> so yeah, if you think all the efforts going into making the posts, you thought. You thought <laughs> she's going. She's like Max. Can I borrow your phone? I'm like. What? Don't ask. You got an extra, what, you have four profiles? Okay, I got to log out of one on there on Instagram because you can only do four. <laughs> log in. Log in on four on, like, each phone. Just, like, um, that's that's hilarious. Um, so I was going to say, because Jared asked what your, you know, favorite part about having this big social media following is. What are the downsides? Of course, you know, because you, uh, we were just talking before, you know, it, it can feel taxing. It's, it's like yeah. a second job. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, Actually, did we answer the first? I don't. I don't even know if we did. I think actually, we what, yeah. No, What's yeah. Your talk favorite about, part. So, talk about yeah, that first. Let's do the yeah. positives. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so my favorite, I think, I really like two different things. One, when I ask questions like on the story or in a caption of a post, like, "Hey, like, tell me a story about this," and people actually reply. And a lot of the stories are mundane or like pretty normal but some people will tell me some wild stuff like i remember one time i posted and i said what like what are you guys doing this weekend and somebody said nothing because i'm going to jail for five years and i was like what? you posted that what? or no i think i, don't know. <laughs> I think i told you about it i was like who what possesses someone to tell a meme account that anyway or like one time i posted it's like this- bro what do you do for yeah. one? <laughs> i was like holy anyway <laughs> One time I posted and I was like, oh, tell me like a story about your after prom because it was a meme about going like down the shore for after prom. And the comments on that one were wild because people were like, yeah, I was like drunk and like jumping out of windows. It's like, whoa. But that stuff's funny. I also really like this is more like cheesy, but a lot of people will message me and say just like thanking me for posting because it makes them smile and it's really cute. Like one guy. I will never forget reading this DM. I started almost crying in class. Um, I was on my phone in class, yes. Class, that's, that's <laughs> not paying good. attention. Come yeah. on now. And so the guy was like, hey, like, I'm going through a really tough time. I'm divorcing my wife. And I just wanted to thank you for posting because you give me a reason to smile every day. And I, like, look forward to the posts. And I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> like, yeah. that's so serious. The, cra- what I was gonna, the crazy thing is, like, you can get a thousand hate comments. Yeah. And it could just be like, whatever, whatever. But then one of those is worth 10 times. Oh, yeah. That. Like, so validating. Yeah. Like, the most annoying parts of running the page will have no effect just because of all of those nice comments. Like, I love those so much. Yeah. We made a, we made a full, because some, listen, sometimes I'll get in my head with, and it's like this instant validation while Instagram can be so good that like JR posted, you know, we posted something last night that he made. And it killed it. Like it got for yeah. listen, not not in your standards. So in no. our standards, it got like a thousand, a thousand likes, likes in like thirty five minutes. Yeah, yeah. It's way less. Yeah. It, it just killed it. People loved it. Pliables loved it. <laughs> yeah, um, we put pliables, pliables in. Yeah. We definitely we put our advertisers in for sure. Sure, not really advertisers. Um, <laughs> don't sue us, please. We wish. Um, maybe soon. <laughs> no, yeah, one day. Don't look <laughs> at this. This is not. You can't see. Yeah. Um, we're not. Uh, we're gonna monetize this later. Later on. Um, oh, but, for sure. Yeah, but. The other downside is that, you know, some of these posts flop and people don't mm-hmm. like them. And, you know, people are like, yeah. you know, not funny, didn't laugh. <laughs> like, that's yeah. Oh, my God, um, I know. So I actually made it. We have, like, a really extensive Google Drive of everything. I'm just oh, so organized yes. with that. And we put 
um, I, what I'll do is if someone sends us some nice DMs like that, I'll screenshot and just put it in. Oh, that's and nice. it's like, yeah, I was like, listen, like so, some of these are like, you know, really nice. Like, like you're saying, like, you know, you know, thank you. Like, I know like it could be so hard churning out good content all the time. Um, you know, you just make my day brighter, things like that. It's like, yeah. that's why you do it. You do it for, if you could have one person feel like that, yeah, it's worth so it worth all it. this time. Because you know, we're not making money off this no, it's yet. Just one day. Okay, but like, dude, what am I going to do? Watch TV? Like, this is much more valuable. more fun. For me, at least, than yeah. like binge watching Netflix or anything. Two things. Um, I can't remember. I forgot. <laughs> wow. That's just beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nice. Are you sure? Uh, it was about like the niceness. And oh, no. Yeah. Netflix. Actually, I know exactly what I was going to talk about. Yeah. You make jokes. You've made jokes like uh, on our page about your Google Drive. And it's hilarious because he's like really organized. And, and so, I mean, I talk about it, but basically I wasn't logged into the page until like two months ago mm -hmm. for the most yeah, part. A month. Was it even a, a month, month ago. Maybe a month that, ago. It was at Bellworks. <laughs> yeah, we, we were visited at there for the first time. I always go yeah. to Bellworks to it, do work. He was like, we both went for the first time. Like, He's like, why wait? Why are you making me comb your this and that? And I was like, just wait. And yeah, even me, I was like, cause people keep telling us to go there. Yeah. We should. Our it was, yeah. We I, there. I had no idea that was there. So I had cool. no idea. But yeah, no, it's funny. Cause so. So I just logged in like a month ago, but for the most part, I would just like make things and text them to him. And now that I'm logged in, he's like, like I'll like make something on my phone or on Photoshop and I'll just like text it to him. And he's like, no, put it in the Google drive. And I'm like, oh, I don't want to like, I, I just, uh, oh, it's so not me, but he gets the whole organizational thing down. And it's funny because there's like 25 folders. Yeah. yeah. And <laughs> it's good to be organized. And I, and I don't put things, yeah, but when I upload this. things, when I it's, upload things, all yeah. Oh wow, I love that. Yeah. All different, like already posted things. Like you don't that. get to see. Yeah, no, because what I'll do is sometimes for our starter packs, I'll post like the picture oh, from the my phone of the Google Drive. And this one girl was like, "You should be like a college professor or something like <laughs> yeah. that." It's like you are. I don't know. Like I, I respect the organization. By the way, uh, do Middletown North. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, exactly, like exactly. And I was like, "That's so funny." I was dying. I but, know people always said nice things. They're like, "Oh my god, I love it." Also, like. Do a starter pack for Weehawken. And I'm yeah. like, okay. I'm, like, I'm going to give you a compliment and it's totally double-edged because you're going to feel like you have to do what I say. Yeah. yeah I know. Yeah, very, they always want uh, something. How easy would you say it is for you well, to... Well, she didn't do... Uh, what's the least? Yeah, do? she talked about what she thought was annoying. Oh, she I did. mean, that stuff. Yeah, yeah. When people send negative things. Yeah. Like when people send mean stuff, I'm like, you're trying to bully a meme account on Instagram. Yeah. Like... Not going to work. No, <laughs> like clearly I have like, I don't care what people think because I started a meme account. Like Yeah, exactly. So that's pretty much the worst. True. Yeah. Uh, how easy would you say it is for you to come up with content to post? Do you find it difficult, especially when you have so many people like, you know, constantly looking for your posts? Yeah. Um, it was definitely, I mean, now it's pretty split before when I had like 40,000 followers, it was really difficult because not a lot of people were like DMing me ideas or DMing me. Like some people send me just straight up like memes they've made. Some people send me like texts because they don't know how to like physically make a meme. Um, it was super hard in the beginning stages, like churning out the content because I really needed to be thinking all the time about it. But now there's a lot of people and they'll send me a breath and depth of things. So it's kind of, it's easier to come up with stuff now. So I'm getting a lot of ideas. Yeah, I was going to say, I think because we, we do a lot of the starter pack stuff and we ask for suggestions and but i would say for the most part it can be kind of difficult because we do post like you said when you were forty thousand and you were constantly coming up with ideas because you weren't getting things sent in all the time yeah. most of the stuff we do we kind of make it's ourselves original. it's original yeah. stuff i mean we'll take a meme template that exists yes yeah, and then you know related to monmouth county but like we were talking about the one that we posted last night about the world war three shelter i was like you wake up in the morning and see world war three is trending oh i gotta do something about world yeah, war three exactly. but everyone's doing the drafting stuff and we we're like oh what's something that no one's doing i'm like oh nuclear shelters yeah and yeah. then tailor it to monmouth county girls and people are gonna love it it's gonna be great <laughs> exactly so, yeah but i mean yeah. like i'll go a week where i can't think of a, a thing oh yeah to post and we like to have at least five of them ready to go like if yeah. we can't yeah, think same. of something yeah. And then, you know, when you see there's like, oh, like two left that like, and you're like, then oh, we got a shit. Like, I yeah. really need to get going on something. And then sometimes you'll have a brainstorming session and it's like, okay, I just came up with like five yeah, memes sure. in 30 minutes. And yeah, then that's exactly. like, which I, I think our best ones have literally come from thinking of it that morning, mm -hmm. making it and posting it that night. But then we yeah. have other ones where we thought about it for a few days, made it, like edit it, and then it just, it doesn't do good. Yeah. So, you know, I would say like, 
the baby Yoda ones were like last minute. And that's yeah. what we try and do is because like what me and Jared talk about is like the memes that people are already talking about, like right now, like the World War Three thing is the biggest thing. Listen, it could die in a day or two. Yeah. We don't know. It could die tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. we want to kind of jump tomorrow. on that. <laughs> Who knows? World War Three might start. True. <laughs> Let's just tell our followers. <laughs> like, don't be surprised. Watch things only. Yeah. Yeah. Was like yeah definitely you got to watch this but we try and like jared said like figure out the memes that are popular and wrap it around mom's county as much as possible because that you know we don't want to reinvent the wheel it's already out there so if we could just yeah do our thing yeah that that's the easiest way and yeah we like Absolutely. i would say like like you said um i think 80 percent of our stuff's probably like like not sent in like we have to make it yeah yeah that was definitely it was hard <laughs> I rem- can you turn me down a little bit i um thank you would like to get mm-hmm. getting back to more like self-made content i just like i was in school yeah. and traveling and that's kind of like not conducive to me making so yeah well i've noticed since you've been on break you've been posting a lot more frequently too. yeah almost, I have more like, time. almost like every day yeah yeah well now i'm bored again so <laughs> i was like on vacation skiing and i was like oh i have a good meme idea and just like stopping and like texting myself a meme idea and then skiing away <laughs> <laughs> literally just on a lift like making a meme just yeah because like... i was with some family friends and i was like all right these lifts these are brainstorm times everyone gives me a meme idea no but a little bit <laughs> a little bit yeah i like getting other people involved because it's like it's fun for them well, fun for fu- me it's funny i was making the shelter one the, yes two days yesterday and my mom was like oh why didn't you ask me for any suggestions and i'm like <laughs> all right fine you got any ideas and she was like yeah, I'll come up with a couple. And I came up with like one, but it's like yeah. people do when people hear that you're doing it and they see that you have a following and they you know they're like, "Oh, this is interesting. I want to yeah. be involved in some way." You know what I mean? So, yeah. like I have friends that aren't from New Jersey. I just know from college who follow the account and submit things because they're like, "Oh, I saw this and I think it has something to do with New Jersey because I've followed your account long enough to sort of know anything about New Jersey." Yeah. <laughs> Which is just funny. like the bag. I mean, I don't think you weren't you weren't skiing in New Hampshire because like I was I, in Vermont. Okay, good thing because <laughs> Yeah, that, during we, that we kind of made a battle with them. Um and even though JR JR thinks that we we lost. I, I think of it as like a boxing <laughs> match where basically the first round, like the first fight, he, he killed us. This kid was good and he grew. He had like 200 followers in November, yeah. like early November, October. Yeah. Now he's at like almost 14K. Yeah. Yeah. And they're very like patriotic. He's over a nice there. kid too. Yeah. He seems yeah. like a nice kid. Um, but now, uh, then the second one we won, so it's it's tied one one. Maybe later, but he, listen, he he really did. He, he clapped us the first one. The, I'm not the way lie. I look at it is overall likes. I don't. Yeah. He won, and the people in New Hampshire. It's a series. It's like a seven game right, series. Cool. All right, I'm talking. You get your chance to talk after I do. All right. True. If it's a, but no, I, the reason I thought he won is because one, overall likes he beat us. Two, people in New Hampshire like attacked us in our yeah. page. It was bad and i we posted get... that story and people were like well thank god you're not new hampshire and i was like whoa because <laughs> yeah, no. like because the thing is we get dms and people are like yo why are you talking shit about new hampshire and i, I wanted to be like look i love new hampshire yeah i Hampshire's used to have a great. house in new hampshire i used to go there all the time to ski it's just for fun and i've people... never been this group <laughs> <laughs> so yeah if you ever dm'd us and someone was nice to you it was me <laughs> answering but if it was if he was an ass it was him do you want to do you want to tell him really quickly what that yeah, one dm yeah. was the one the one time I got a text from Max and he's like, yo, check our DMs. First one right now. And, I was like, and let me just say, we're, like, you go back at people in the comments and stuff like that. We'll talk about that more. But yeah, Jared, go tell so us. So basically, uh, I checked the DMs and there's this kid who looks like he's like 13 from New oh, Hampshire. No, those are always the worst DMs. He's like 13 years old and he's like, your, sit, your state smells like shit. And Max just responds deadpan, you prop smell like shit. <laughs> and, it was a fun, and, yeah. and then he fa- then he FaceTimed me immediately after and we just laughed about it for like 20 minutes because it was just the funniest thing. It's so funny. And it said he saw it that he just didn't respond. <laughs> and I was like, and then he like wrote back and we were like, like we were being nicer but i just yeah we're just kidding it's just it's just fun so many though that like actually thought it was real and there's like a few cool monmouth county girls that actually went on the front lines um and literally went on his post new hampshire's um and like commented for monmouth county and they were getting dm themselves i was like they were getting attacked so we we followed them they're they're cool i forget their names but they they literally i was like okay his name's alex or something yeah i don't don't have well i don't think we have the balls i wouldn't have the balls on my personal to go there because i'm gonna have 100 kids dming me but we literally said to a few of the people like we got your back let us know so we followed them all so colleen um how do you you know 
how do you take when like take it when you have good and bad comments? I think we like literally talked about a little bit about how, you know, some people, you know, you just let it be other people. I've seen you somewhat roast them and I think it's, I've DM'd you about it and I'll be like, wow, because we have a little <laughs> group chat and I'll just DM her. I'll be like, that's hilarious. So talk about that a little. Yeah. Um, so for the most part, I ignore comments just cause there's a lot of them and I don't have time to reply to everyone, but if they're really funny, I'll reply and be like, you like seriously made me laugh or something like that. If people ask questions like, where is that or something, I'll reply. But if people are mean, I usually ignore them until I start recognizing their username because they're always posting mean things. And then I will let the inner Jersey show and I will <laughs> yell at them <laughs> because I don't know. Show like, them what's up. Yeah, like there's no need for you to be mean on this page. Like that's not what I'm about. I don't know. Yeah, also, true. it's kind of funny sometimes. People are just naturally like they just want to get a rise out of you most times. Yeah, like, exactly. Like sometimes you'll DM them back and be like, what? And they'll be like, oh, it was just a joke. This and that. Like people just want to get a rise. They don't actually mean that. That's exactly. Why, you know, I they're think just it's jealous also too. easy. Like the pages don't have faces associated with them. So mm -hmm. it's really easy for people to just like say whatever they want because they are like, oh, there's not a person on the other end of this. Like that's not true. But like that's kind of what it feels like. So they'll post whatever they want and then I like replying because then it kind of like humanizes the page a little bit more. Like there's a person behind here reading all this dumb shit you're posting. So <laughs> No, yeah, I, I I got in the New Hampshire thing and normally I was pretty nice to people who commented, but there were a couple where I was just like one of them was, was like, I can't believe you guys can breathe long enough to post these with all that pollution. I was like, I can't believe you can breathe with all that methane coming out of your cow's ass. <laughs> it's like stuff like that. Yeah. So it's like every once in a while, like, I don't care if people think that I'm being mean because no. it's just funny. Yeah. And you I know. think it's also part of the personality of the state. So like if some people are just being like an ass on the Internet, like I feel like we can yell at them back and yeah. it's warranted. I think the people in New Hampshire took it differently than we did yeah. like when we get attacked people like other new jersey towns like people in the other towns know it's a joke yeah people in new hampshire because it's like a statewide conflict they're like they thought we were really going at them like yeah. they thought it was totally real they thought all of our insults like a county page is coming at a whole state yeah it's like county page <laughs> with more followers than your entire state account so and also our literally county our county has six hundred thirty thousand people their whole state is 1.3 million people yeah. so literally we're, they're, we're almost half their size we're yeah. bigger than Vermont. There's more people that live in Monmouth County yeah, than Vermont. Vermont. It's insane. Yeah, that is insane. So prepare Vermont memes if we ever come at you. That's yeah, we're, be... we're taking a little break. Um, <laughs> on the feuds. We were good, like, we, we had like a little maybe thing that we we're going to do with like New York, upstate New York. Oh, I like that. Yeah. yeah. He kind of, he took a step back. We have him saved. But I mean, to be honest, we were, we were going for like the low hanging fruit. I mean, listen, I went at Ocean County when the kid had like 400 followers. <laughs> yeah. That was kind of easy. Um, then we went at Bergen. I mean Bergen County, dude. You literally just don't go on your page for a month. You just you don't even you don't even use it, and now you're just using it to like sell Dayglow. So I mean, <laughs> you, you, you sold out. Get out. Sold my my out. dude, I do love the dude. I mean, for literally selling out at the at the exact second you like someone offered you ten bucks. I mean, we've been funny enough. I think like we I get know, asked to do promos we, all, this, the all the time. This one kid DM'd me and was like, "Dude, I'll give you a dollar to post your story." I was like, okay, bro, First not only that, am I not going to do that, you think a dollar is going to, oh, God, a dollar, yeah, DM me right now. Like, Here's I'm not DM. in high school, a dollar doesn't mean a lot to me, like, yeah. even, like, what, a dollar, dude, like, you I can't mean, buy shit so, because we only have 17, if we had 180,000 followers, maybe it'd be like two dollars. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. A hundred. If that's our goal, get to hundred eighty thousand. Start two dollars per story. Two dollars per story. <laughs> Ten dollars per post. That's our rate. You heard it here, Rook. So, <laughs> <laughs> so next one. Yeah, we we're gonna talk about the heartfelt DMs. We kind of already did that. Now you want to go on to talk about yours a little bit because she talked about. Colleen yeah. talked about hers. I don't know. It's up yeah. to you. Um. Yeah. Let me just see. I'll, I'll pull one up right now. But what do you what do you think about them, Jr? Like, I think I use them like. I don't know. They just make me feel like a lot better. I mean, what about you? I think that, that in the time that I've been logged into the page, I haven't seen a single nice message <laughs> oh, like that. Oh, no. Because I... It must be a sign. They want you off the page. Yeah. <laughs> basically. But I've seen the way that they've motivated you. So I, I look at that as a positive. I haven't opened any of them myself because I joined like, you know, a couple weeks before the New Hampshire thing and every DM we got was nasty. <laughs> every one we got was nasty. And then the other ones are like, oh yeah, like your page, blah, blah, blah. Like post this. This yeah. is a good idea. 
Um, Pliables, you know, I mean, they they com- they left a nice comment on our post last night, you know, which was cool. Yeah. But Plyo, um, Rook does too. Rook does sometimes yeah. too. Who yeah. doesn't though? Surf Taco. <laughs> they follow me, I think. They do. That's messed up. And Coos. And <laughs> Bubba, Bubba Coos doesn't, doesn't either. The two burrito places. Oh, they do. Dear. And I go to them. I'm sorry. I go to them a lot. You know, you really should call out a Barstool Mammoth. <laughs> you can't stand them. <laughs> we'll talk about them in another podcast. I'm, we'll talk <laughs> about them. Yeah. One day. They just listen. As uh, On my personal page, I've sent them plenty of stuff. and They never post any of my personal stuff. Damn. There's literally... There's literally a video of me tasing one of my boys. <laughs> and I thought that should get on there. And it There's didn't. no way. It didn't. Yeah. And then so. we send stuff. We have so many more followers than them. And they just read them and ignore them. Yeah. It's like, bro, yeah. this the is do- funny. Post yeah. it. Um, so just one of them, yeah. this this, uh, this kid literally says, like, it must be hella stressful to keep churning out and creating memes on a daily basis. But thank you for making them because they make me smile and my day is a little bit brighter. I think I wrote, like, it was just something I was like, bro, thank you, man. Like, it was like, and it was like, funny enough, it was probably like 1130 at night after one of my memes completely bombed. <laughs> and I was <laughs> yeah. just like, dude, I, I need this a little. Um, so like, it just. Pick me up. It is. It's yeah. it's like nice nice little stuff like that. So, um, yeah. What's the next thing? Um, uh, so I guess you said that you've been coming up with ideas for uh, merch and apparel. So why don't you talk about that a little bit? Yeah. So I've actually had this store since around thirty thousand followers. So it's been around, but I haven't like updated anything in it, just because I don't have any ideas. Like mm-hmm. most of the stuff that came out of it. Um, it's like people DMing me specifically and they were like, you should sell this because I would buy it. <laughs> so then I'll make it, which is a good way to make stuff. Guys, why don't you do that with us? <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. Funny, funny you brought up merch because we're coming up with our own. <laughs> yeah. You can't, you probably can't see it, but it's, you know, it's funny because we were talking about um, when we photoshopped the the thing last night and I put the your merch on the girl's t-shirt. I was like, it's funny, you know, her, her sign, her logo is the Garden State Parkway, but you wrote New Jersey memes on it and our merch is we didn't change anything. It's just literally a sign on the parkway. So it's a maximum creativity. So it's just because like we were just wondering because um, cause there's like some sort of like obviously copyright stuff. You want to yeah. be okay with that. But like a lot of this stuff we're looking up is like public domain. Yeah. Yeah. Like so like that's that should be fine. I think it's cool just I because think so. I think it's it's simple and people everybody sees that sign when they're driving through Monmouth County. Shore yeah. points is like the pro- all the exits in you know on the Jersey Shore specifically. So I think yeah. that people would it's not overkill there's not so much going yeah. on it's a simple shirt people would wear it i, th- I think i'd wear it yeah. i'm wearing it right now calling that that's, i did yeah, yeah i did some research and like the that like insignia apparently some like pizza place in florida tried to use it and wrote like jersey boardwalk pizza and the state tried to sue them and then whoever was presiding over that case was like no this is stupid nobody's gonna get the pizza place confused with yeah. The parkway. Sure. So yeah. I think that that sign yeah. is fair game. Okay. It, I mean, from what I understand in like pri- previous court cases, it's all public yeah. domain. Yeah. You know, there are some like municipal signs like in small towns that's different. But when sure. it comes to like, you know, a federal road, it should, yeah. it's not a problem. Glad we both, we all did this research. And, yeah, it's good. Well, I did because I was like, oh, the last thing I want is to make this shirt and then get sued for like $200,000. $200, yeah. Same. <laughs> Same. Colleen, that took me a, uh, can you turn me up a little? Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Colleen, that took me a smooth two hours to make. Now, oh, no. as the Photoshop guru I am. I can uh, try to help you. Actually, I have graphic design. Wait, it experience. actually took you two hours. Oh, great! All right, we're gonna hire you. Yeah. So, <laughs> if you see our designs getting better, you know it's not me. You know, it's like it's it's literally that meme of uh, what is that like by the computer? Um, I forget uh, what rapper, but he's like looking over him, like when you're uh, yeah, 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 that's us. The Colleen's sitting there at the computer. It's I'm just Quavo. over the side. Yeah, it's way, but I'm just like. <laughs> taking all credit for it is like yeah that was us <laughs> we came up with that was it we got to do a collab at some point when we're because we're we just made our website no one go to it yet it is live <laughs> but we're gonna have our friend who um majored in computer science now he's getting his master's he's gonna help us um with it um nice. it's wordpress so it should be a lot easier yeah. than it is but he's he's gonna do like coding stuff like if there's anything where we don't know how to change it like you could change yeah. in yeah. wordpress that exactly, so he's yeah. just gonna like change listen it i haven't even tried to help with the website so who knows maybe i could have done it but i was not so, interested. oh so just out of laziness he didn't right. want it all right thank you buddy <laughs> i came up with all i came up with all these shirt ideas that we haven't talked about yet so no you haven't i came, I came up, up with, with the two two we have like five in there right yeah, We're fighting. Exactly. <laughs> this is this, he, this is what take... goes in between every. No, I would say it's it's half and half for the merch. Yeah. Okay. It's not. 
All right, who the made the shirt you're wearing? Time will tell. Oh, who made the shirt you're wearing? The store in the mall. <laughs> the logo. Oh, you made the logo. I came up with it though. And the and the funny thing is, at the mall we went to. Have you ever been to Tasty? It's like a t-shirt place. Oh, is it in the Mammoth? Yeah, it's yeah, in the Mammoth I saw mall. that. Um, Mammoth Mall. The we went mall. there, and the guys like I had him make this t-shirt. You guys can see it in like a picture that we'll take. And he was like, um, "I said I was like here. This is what I want on the shirt. Whatever." I took a picture of it. And he's like Taylor Ham. He's like. <laughs> My band's name is the Taylor Hams. <laughs> and I was like, like, I'm so disappointed. And, and I literally, and he showed me like a picture of him playing at the Stowe Pony. I was like, dude, no, it's Taylor Ham, not the Taylor Hams. And he was like a little offended at first. I was like, bro, I'm sorry. Like, it's Taylor Ham. Um, but yeah, they made it. We, we want to like each podcast. We want to like wear something funny that that has to do with some with the guests. Because one of your biggest things on your page is is the big debate. Yeah. I mean, that's got to include it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, so we'll get to that later. I'm sure. Yeah, sure. <laughs> so what's the, uh, okay. So this, this one, me and JR, we're big memesters. I mean, I know he's like personally through all of our friend groups, we're part of several different meme kind of group chats and like oh, almost yeah. the same people are in every single one of them but yeah, we, we just have all separately I think they're just like weird names like one of them your mom named jeff your mom named jeff <laughs> the other ones released the kraken and like i don't know they just stuck for years and we just don't change them so we just send each other memes um i don't even have instagram notifications or snapchat notifications on but i'll just go in yeah and so uh, i was gonna ask you what are your favorite meme pages you know whether it's overall memes or like whether it's like state or county memes so what do you yeah well besides mammoth county memes um <laughs> plug i do you guys there's like finance meme accounts out there this is so specific but you should, be, you, you should be looking at is those it stonks <laughs> <laughs> well i do like the stonks Jared loves it. i love stonks. The stonks if there's a stonks meme on mammoth county memes i made it yeah. that's what it is yeah. there's like a a page called mrs dow jones and she <laughs> Like has this whole brand where she teaches financial literacy through like memes and like pop culture references. So she'll like make memes of like the Kardashians and then relate it to like stocks and bonds and things like that. And I think it's really funny. Wait, wait, are you talking about memes that are actually useful? Useful memes. Educational? Like, like a little bit. No, no, no. They're not yeah, really educational no, no, as not much as page. they're like interesting. <laughs> but yeah, I like her page. I don't know. I like the ones that are... Of course, I like general purpose memes. Love a good Jeffrey Epstein didn't kill himself meme. Of course. Yeah. But I like the ones that, the pages that have like a specific purpose because mm. it's like interesting to see all the different ways you can like make fun of things. <laughs> True. You follow Grape Juice Boys? No, well, maybe on one of my. You need to follow I have a one Boys. Instagram account that's just, I follow all these meme pages and sure. there's like oh, okay. no real people on it. Do okay. you want to go? Would you want to go yours? Yeah, go yours first, because I know we're, oh. we're into more edgy stuff. Yeah, we like edgy memes. The dank some, memes. Well, there are some deep with, fried. <laughs> deep fried memes are funny. Yeah, no, there are some deep fried memes. No, there are some meme pages that the names are problematic. We can't say them, but yeah. uh, Grape Juice Boys is funny. Tinder versus Reality is funny. Oh yeah, <laughs> Tinder versus like Reality is really funny. Max, you you're gonna you're gonna say Meme Stronghold, but yeah. Meme Stronghold is funny. There's a couple that I would say, but uh, they're a little inappropriate, yeah. so I'm not gonna say their names. Yeah. As far, I honestly yeah. go on Reddit for a lot of memes. Like I, it's not as much Instagram as Reddit. I feel like. Wow. Okay. Okay. Them. Well, most. I feel Instagram like I don't memes... hear a lot of girls go on Reddit. That's no. That's no kind of... I feel like I'm the only one sometimes. Yeah. You have well, the app. What? You have the Reddit app. app yeah. Reddit app or no? Uh, you just go on your computer I think for I do. It. I mostly yeah. Do, do you use light mode or dark mode? Uh, the background. On your phone. On your phone. There's light mode I have, and dark mode. I have it on. I have it on dark mode on my computer and light mode on my phone. I think. Ooh. Dark. Where? What are you on? I'm on dark. I have it on light on my phone. I know it's not good. I changed it to dark. It's a game changer. Yeah. I honestly, it's different on every app. <laughs> it's yeah, like I don't really know. Um. As far as mine, so I have like two different like as far as like dark memes and edgy stuff. Um. This is account we love is called Cargo. Cargo version one got kicked off and now there's like cargo V2, V3. Those are like really edgy. You got to like, so they're private. Oh yeah. Um, a lot of those. Um, and basically there's like a few others, like, like whatever cargo's girlfriend or something like that. <laughs> or his underage girlfriend meme stronghold is Jr. said. And this last one is emo kids beware. <laughs> oh yeah. I've seen that. Yeah. It's just hilarious. But as far as general memes, um, one of my friends literally, uh, who I'm in grad school with sent me like this Insta single page oh, yeah. and it's like, it's like really, it's like 20 year old people's like whatever millennials like content, but it's about like dating and stuff. And I just think it's hilarious. So that's like more like the mainstream stuff, but it's really prevalent with kids our age. Yeah. So, you know, 23, 20. It would have been great if we came out and we're like, all right, my favorite meme page of all con of all time is Daquan. 
<laughs> I was waiting for her to say that, and I'd be like, just we have I'd be to like, all right, crickets. podcast is over. Sorry, <laughs> we're done. <laughs> something like way. Uh, oh my god. Um, but yeah, I mean, uh, like memes with us is just so big, and that's why, like, because yeah. we we send these to each other already. So making this about Monmouth County. Is something we yeah. knew we could do because we're just i was gonna be making memes anyway so might as well share them to everyone yeah exactly. like i was already making memes before this i used to make starter packs about my friends in college oh really okay <laughs> yeah so now, that's like where starter packs came from all we used we to should... do is we'd go on snapchat and use the photoshopping tool and just put each other on things, <laughs> on things? And yeah that's so funny that, that's how kind of i got started making stuff wow. and everyone used to make jokes because somebody would send in a photo and i'd screenshot it and within like 30 seconds i had photoshopped it into something stupid <laughs> Yeah. Everyone was like, Jared does it so fast. It's unbelievable. It and that, someone's taking my spot now. Julian is definitely yeah. the bigger, the quicker uh, we'll, viewer in the Snapchat. We'll but. do that in our group. So someone will send in a picture. Like our friend Rob sent a picture of him going to like an interview and just him in the mirror. We're like nice clothes and we're like, we got him, boys. And then the next 30 ones are all of us basically putting different things in it. We're like either like we'll put like weird hats on him, this and that. But it just and he'll just come back after the job interview and be like, oh, my God. We're like, OK, I hope you got it. But we just had you just <laughs> yeah. made my morning, buddy. Like I'm at work right now. I love that. Uh, favorite meme format of all time. Favorite template. You can have a couple. I have a bunch. Yeah, I'm thinking. It's tough. Hmm. I really like. um Wait, let me go on Twitter for a second. I do. Right, I'll, take your time. I'll say mine. Yeah. <laughs> right, so, so my favorite, I have one, two, three, four. And <laughs> the first one is not a good meme at all. It's a terrible meme. But I love it because it was like in like 2015, 2016, like when I first like really started getting into like Instagram and stuff like that. It was uh, Dat Boy. Oh my god, it's I love Dat it's Boy. A, it, it, it's a terrible template because you can't just use it by itself. You just Photoshop <laughs> yeah, it, it into other pictures. Do exactly. Yeah. That was probably my first favorite. And I love Howard the Alien. Oh, with that yeah. stupid song. I think yeah. that's amazing. Like, <laughs> Buzz, look <laughs> an alien. <laughs> yeah. I really love dancing. those ones that are like, tag yourself. And there's like, a like picture of something. And then a few bullet points to like, describe what it is. Like those ones on like. I've seen that. Yeah. Yes. yeah I like those. Because I think they're like, they're so fucking random most sure. of the time. Yeah. They're like, tag yourself. Like, I'm a like, curtain. Things like that. <laughs> just like something, yeah, yeah, just out of nowhere. And then I also, I love the crab rave. That's the <laughs> yeah. crab dance. It's song started with Obama is gone. Yeah. <laughs> he'll just like, he'll play that at all times and just like go loud. And then the last one's Peter Parker dancing. Spider-Man 3. He's a big yeah. Spider-Man fan. I used to be a huge Spider-Man fan and I can even appreciate that movie as terrible as it is. Spider-Man 3, yeah. I like this one that's uh, thinking about the airport jungle juice. And it's like them pouring all the liquids into the thing outside wow, of TSA. Right. Tasty. Oh, so good. We could, we, we could put that on the screen so people can yeah. see that. Yeah, please yeah. do. I love that meme. Airport jungle juice. Oh. F. Oh. Any other ones that, that you really like? I think they can be basic ones, too. Just like... Yeah. I feel like you don't use a lot of reused like templates on your page. It's a lot of like original. Yeah, I, I feel like to, I don't see it a lot. Like, yeah, I really. Not. So I do like. Um, I think the like name for this type of meme is like out of context mm -hmm. things. So it's like screenshots from TV shows, and then you yes. put a caption that makes it make sense. Yeah, yeah. I think those are like more creative than just mm -hmm. like reusing templates. We made two things. We're like one if she says Daquan's her favorite page, and two if Baby Yoda's her favorite template. Uh -huh. I do like Baby Yoda, but Baby Yoda's cute. I watched The Mandalorian. It's a great show. <laughs> But I haven't done it yet. You should. That's good. I saw, but now that but now that it's over, Disney Plus is a waste of money. Like yeah. I have nothing to do with it. How anymore. much is it per month? It's, well, it's seventy overall, but it's twelve. It's nine. No, six ninety nine a month. It's seventy. Doable. Yeah. It has like so. old Marvel stuff on it. So I'll say my favorite memes, um, right here. So. Um, my, I love like the smash bros one where it's like the intro of the smash bros. And I, I just put one on my snap story the other night. Like they made like a Viner version, <laughs> with, like Amanda Cerny and like peaks where it's just like, and it would just give them the worst caption. Um, the other one I thought it was hilarious. I love like the big chungus one. <laughs> big chungus is amazing. And they'll just put them in. There's like the one, the one versus, um, Thanos. Yeah. Him, where he, Thanos. Pulls out, he pulls out the reverse card. He pulls out the reverse card on Thanos after Thanos snaps. And then Thanos just starts withering away. <laughs> and it's just like, wow. At my great. last job, there was a whole Slack channel dedicated to chungus memes. People were obsessed 
with Chungus. <laughs> it was a big deal. It, it was, was wild. and it was funny. How did I that, loved Big Chungus too. Wasn't what did that was it just from like an episode? It's, I, yeah, I, he's I like, think I watched mm, it. He got dad'll really hold big. him. He's making yeah. fun of a fat, the fat yes. guy, and then he's like, hmm, dad'll yeah. hold him. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so the next one. This is going to be a little bit difficult. I don't know for you because how many? I think you're you're above like what two hundred something posts. I mean, yeah, I think it's like two thirty. Yeah, something two eighty three. Wow. Okay. Okay, we Low didn't ball, do our yeah. homework at, at, <laughs> at, as much as I thought. Wow. What is your favorite meme like that you've ever created or or posted? Ooh. There's okay. got to be one. Oh yeah, I think there's two. Okay. So <laughs> I mean. I love all of my memes equally. No, I really like the one that this is from a little while ago, but it says like, oh, mom, can we get a pliable? And the mom's like, no, can we have pliables at home? The pliables at home. And it's like a bell pepper with cereal in it. <laughs> <laughs> that was like, oh, uh, that is my pride and joy. And pl pliables reposted that meme. And I was like, oh, my gosh, I've wow. made it. Like pliables yeah. reposted my meme. Because we just that was big. We just got that last night. Yep. <laughs> Incredible. Um, and then the other one I really like was this picture and it says, no, no one, um, New Jersey girls at their sweet 16s. And it's a picture of Snooki with a tiara, oh my like God. arching her back yes. like this, taking a picture. So true. And I like that one and it was good. But what really made it my favorite was that this girl DM'd me after I posted that a picture of herself at her sweet 16 with the tiara on her head doing the same pose. Same. And I think I cried. I laughed so hard. It was so funny. <laughs> That's my <laughs> so, God! Wow. Okay. It's so good. So yeah, I think those are my two favorite. You want to go or me first? You can go. All is right. Like so it? my two favorites. The first one is uh, the first one is probably uh, when Max got started. I probably started helping at the end of July. I posted one meme. It was like you know twelve year olds when they have nothing to do, like slamming the freehold mall button. <laughs> yeah. That, but the one that I really got into was when I made fun of RBC, and I said it was the yeah. Family Guy, perhaps, where it's like, are you really going to pay fifteen k a year for an education worse than most public schools? And it's like middle aged white families, <laughs> perhaps. Yeah. And that was like we blew it. That was like I think we got two thousand, almost two thousand. We were like likes. three thousand followers, and we got almost two thousand likes on oh it. And God, I was like, yeah. this is great. Why don't we I, get I wanna... those kind of likes anymore, man? I know. In that two third case, ratio. We should be getting eight thousand likes some yeah. by there was that. one post i i did that was like um like nj like kids in high school like oh i'll never go to ruckers and then they slammed the button like ruckers <laughs> after four years and that post got me like thousands of people in one no. day so i have to say my favorite meme on our page <laughs> is the clown fight between mid north and mid south <laughs> kids and you actually commented on it like ha 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 in all caps i and, remember that and going into it i remember like i poked because there was like a lot of fights i think we did like a battle between north and south and a lot of kids were like yo like they're messaging me about them and i was like guys i put on my story i was like tricking everyone i was like yo someone sent in a fight video between a mid north and mid south kid and people i had 100 dms either half of them were like Dude, post it. I can't wait to see this kid get messed up. Or the other one's like, dude, please don't. Like, you're going to ruin this kid's <laughs> life. Like, bro. And then when I posted it, I'm like, I, I, on the story post of that, I was like, aren't, do you really think I'm going to post an underage fight video? I mean, like, how stupid am I? That's going to get taken down in a second. And yeah, I'm going to like fool you. It's a meme page. Like, yeah. Someone would send that stuff into World Star, yeah. not to me. I think that's my favorite meme on your page because I remember you posting the, the, story and i was like oh my god is he actually gonna post a fight video i was like i don't think he would do that <laughs> yeah that, that has to be dumb <laughs> he posted I... that so good <laughs> so good and it's short too how many views is that actually yeah. uh, 11,000. 11, that's and it's a, long, a, it's, it's a long video too yeah. yeah we see the likes though <laughs> yeah the, i mean that, oh i accidentally like... just unliked it oh You're my on god our own page though oh, beautiful man <laughs> it's so hard to click the button because yeah. there's names it doesn't say whatever. Okay, it's well, fine. Whatever. You can but go into insights. Only fourteen hundred likes, man. It's that was that was <laughs> earlier on. It was. Yeah. <laughs> I'd say, and the other one was the pork roll one that I just posted, talking about like 
would you buy a box of uh, Crayola or would you buy a box of crayons? And people started going in on like, I'm going to buy a Band-Aid. And like, it's just like, <laughs> on like they're, they're going at it in the comments. I know like that's something big with your page. So we posted that. And I'm like, I literally was writing like, I solved this, whatever. Like acting like, <laughs> yeah. you know, you guys can't have a single comeback. Obviously, it's a joke. And people were like DMing us like, yeah, you know you're wrong, right? <laughs> one, you don't live in a real place. You live in Central Jersey. So, yeah, it doesn't like, exist. So, yeah, so one, you valid. don't exist. So <laughs> that yeah so um definitely that it's was... literally it's literally not ham it doesn't qualify as ham the ingredients don't qualify as ham well didn't you say like or someone told me they make it from like a, they get it from a new part of like the pig or something it's i don't not, know well i mean ham comes from a pig's app isn't it like a ass. conglomerate of meats? i think yeah, yeah. They throw it it's together. not it's a bunch of different meats and that's yeah. why it doesn't count it used to be called taylor ham that was the brand now they can't even call it taylor ham anymore because it's not ham so it's just called taylor pork roll yeah so we did you're research. You basically, <laughs> ba- basic, <laughs> basically, you're wrong. I think I get a video once a week of somebody like typing into Google Taylor Ham and then Google oh, like, popping up as like pork roll. Like, yeah. I get that video. I've seen that video on different phones more times than I can count. It's like, oh my god. Yeah. Um. So I guess next question would be: Do you have any advice for someone starting a page? Because you know, like we said, you were about like a thousand in June, and then you blew up. And you know, maybe what did it take for you to get there? And do you, you know, think that people should give it a shot? Let me just say clearly: the only way is you you bought followers. Like that's the <laughs> only <laughs> way you bought you buy I everyone your life. And like actually with thirty thousand accounts, that's what I do. Yeah, <laughs> it's a hun- yeah. That's how you get your thirty thousand likes, and every one of the comments is you also because yeah. you just have that time of time to do this yeah. stuff. Clearly. I'm not in college. I don't have other things going on. Full-time, like full time meanster. <laughs> you turn me up a little bit, dude. Little bit you're not back. peeking. No, you're wrong. <laughs> no, because I just can't hear it well. Now I can hear it well in my. I wasn't able to hear it all. Maybe it's here. just your crap headset. Listen, man, I got. We beats. have we have German. Me and you have German heads. Said he's got beats on. No, Doctor Dre yeah. made these special for me. Yeah. <laughs> That's why they're falling apart. They're custom made they're for Mama's County Meme. <laughs> <They're laughs> so, you've old. had those for like literally nine years. It's insane. Easily. I told my dad that I was like, yeah, when I was putting batteries, like I was playing middle school basketball. <laughs> 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 That's just tragic. So, uh, Colleen, what do okay, you, what do you yeah, think well, about that? Oh, advice. Okay. Um, I think what helped my page grow was the starter packs, definitely. But also like asking for input and like actively talking to the people on the page because instead of just making memes that like I thought were good, I would always like rep- reply to people in the comments or like actually DM them back and be like, so you want a meme about Jersey City, but like what specifically? Because like I don't know things <laughs> about most places in New Jersey. Like I am from Monmouth County. I'm not from all 21 counties. So talking to people and having them feel like they could have an input on what was posted, I think was pretty big. Also, I mean, doing that for the starter packs was like crucial, but. I mean, yeah, yeah, Joe, you want to talk about like how, like I I can imagine Colleen, how like you, like I saw like one comment, like, oh, New Jersey memes. Do you mean North Jersey memes? Cause like they say that I'm like, yo, how, how is she able, how is she going to be able to like, literally make memes about the entire, the entire state. state it's yeah, so exactly. we're probably, like i'm not even from north jersey yeah, <laughs> like, no. I, like they think it's north jersey memes i'm like yeah. i don't even know about that your like, page yeah. is so diverse i mean you try and that's why you try and do like one you try and do a format and then make it as diverse as possible so everyone could feel included that's but, why i'm posting like <laughs> like why i um i posted a meme yesterday that was like if you don't love me at my worst like you don't deserve me at my best yeah. and i posted like eight of them because i was like okay we have to include all of these different like genres of new jersey because everyone's experience is different and even then people were like oh my god like south jersey i was like i got the farms i got the beach like what do you want like a picture of a sign that says cherry hill like yeah, i don't know yeah. like google just didn't do that for me i'm sorry <laughs> like well, we and me and jr have a hard time like because we're from the eastern part of Monmouth yeah. county and you, you said you could i remember when, when i told you that we were from like Monmouth beach or whatever you're like yeah i could see that yeah because <laughs> like people are like you never talk about like the western part of Monmouth. like i we don't know it and I no one know. sends anything in so what are we gonna do like, yeah we didn't, exactly the allentown high school star pack like people like 100 people dm me about that which is like way west we were just out there yeah. at our boy's house and i posted to do their high school and 10 kids dm me yeah. for it yeah. and i was like bro i just picked your high school like i could have done any big high school and i picked you guys and no one's answering like so that's right. why i don't do you guys like a, yeah. Yeah. yeah and when i tried to come up with a meme that stupid one that i came up with a couple weeks ago you know the one with the car like like we were swerving to a different exit on the yeah. parkway yeah it was gonna be like it was gonna be a like 
going to the shore points or like anywhere west of the shore points and it was just going to be the exit was just going to be called corn and yeah. Be a picture yeah. of corn because i don't know anything out there except for cornfields like i don't i really don't Farm. know it's not a, it's not a funny yeah. meme but it's like i don't know i don't i know. will yeah. admit i went to a one of the monmouth county private schools so i do know some of the corn people i know where you went um <laughs> so did i so yeah. i don't know it's hard because i feel like coming from a school that like had people from different areas it yeah. was easy to be like oh i know some kid who lives sure. in like random part of new jersey i can't relate to yeah. it's funny but for some reason all the kids that i went to school with all went from like were from like manisquan or like south like south on the beach like it was strange nobody it was the mailman just walked by. <laughs> I was gonna say, I was like, this guy's trying to break in <laughs> yeah he's trying, he's trying to get on the podcast but yeah no feature <laughs> some mailman so. so for the third podcast we're gonna have the mailman um, yeah the it's, mailman. it's gonna be absolutely fantastic and then the fourth one we're gonna have bruce springsteen coming. bruce springsteen clearly yeah not bon jovi but uh, <laughs> That's no. Middlesex County means. Yeah. Um, I was just going to say, like, because we just got a DM from someone trying to start out. I mean, like, other than making quality content, yeah. how did you, because I, I really think in the, be, like, in the beginning, it's the hardest to start up. So when hard. you have, like you were saying, the 200 followers. And we know, like, I always say, the first 1,000 is the hardest. So, so hard. how do you get over that hump, do you think? Um, sounds stupid, but I think hashtags really helped. And, like, tagging a location. Because people are bored like people are looking for things mm -hmm. on the internet that they haven't seen before they're like oh like i wonder if i search like monmouth county like what shows up you know so i think that helped i mean obviously posting quality content but posting like diverse things like not just focusing i could have just posted memes about living at the shore for like 10 posts but then i would only have those people sure. but instead like i have a i used to really religiously like keep up with a schedule and be like okay like post about north jersey central jersey south jersey the shore and go on a pretty like yeah. a rotation essentially to make sure i was like hitting all these points because those were the different like That's people who would even follow your stuff account. yeah yeah i would say with us like in the beginning to get out i mean honestly i've told this to other accounts i mean it's like a little cheat and not really a cheat it's like a lot of hard work in order like for us we just had to get our name out and that's the thing like i think like because yeah. a lot of times like you make like quality content and no one's gonna see it we followed or like a, like basically four to five thousand people from monmouth county letting us know who we are and yeah. of course in the beginning our ratio was trash and then you know kind of we cleaned it up and got there but then after we got to like six thousand people knew we existed yeah. and that's where i gotta give it to you for those starter packs those big, at big first song. <laughs> yeah, the thonk right there. Um, those are like stonks. They just went here. Yeah, that, literally. That was our way of getting to different schools. Yeah. And basically, yeah. you know, I, you know, we started out with ones around here that we knew, and now we go over, and we're still getting more followers from that. I think our biggest problem now is just getting older followers. Yeah. The Asbury Park Press is yeah. really helping us with they that do. by they, reposting yeah. They repost us all the time. It's great. Yeah, yeah I noticed I love that. It. I was like, hey, what the heck? No. Yeah. Yeah. They're like, hey, what the heck? <laughs> I don't need it. Post me. Do you what wanna, are you doing? <laughs> that influencer thing will yeah. be there. What? I think like the starter packs, I tried to, um, tried to like find things that like, of course everyone would relate to, but I decided to put some of the private schools in starter packs because like coming from a private school, like everyone's from a different town. They are. So that way, like they would all find out about it and they would not only tell their other private school friends, but their friends from like the town that they lived in. So that was like my first, like, okay, maybe I'll like include those Smart. and then putting the, the public schools and stuff like that. Um, so I don't know. It's all kind of magic because I <laughs> there was no other like state meme account that I could it's like. It's kind of surprising that before. there wasn't one. It's know, shocking that nobody had the New, handle New Jersey, New Jersey memes. memes. That's why I was like, oh, now I have to make it because like who like somebody else is going to make it and it's going to yeah. be like trash. Terrible. I mean, it like, still might like, be trash, but no, like you're like, listen, I'm going to do a great job. Can't let anyone else fuck this up. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Well, no, she's the best at doing this. Clearly, it was destined for her. To <laughs> I've do never. That. I mean, yeah, the majority of state meme accounts have like around our follower yeah. count and i've never seen a state account with this big 180 000 people it's crazy. get at us yeah. i mean funny enough get at us. monmouth county memes with an s was taken when yeah. i made this yeah. and i dm the kid on my personal and i was like bro i'll pay you for that no answer the kid just never made it he just took the account yeah so i thought you know what use a z and I think it, it's stuck. And I actually really like it. So our website is Monmouth County Memes with the Z. Yeah. Um, that's where you, it really doesn't, because by the time you type in Monmouth County, then an M, that's what's coming up. Exactly. So it doesn't matter either way. And we took that yeah. and obviously it's stuck. So um, 
getting towards the end here. Yeah, I mean, this is this is our last question, and then we're gonna play like a little fun final question game. Rapid like fire. A 20, just mm-hmm. a twenty question game. You better uh, answer okay. them correctly. Nothing. Yeah. All, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If we ask you like any specific stuff about great meme pages, you know who to answer. Yeah. So uh, I guess. J- what well, I was gonna. Uh, we saw the last one right there. Did you ask or me? No. Uh, it says. I don't know. What did you? No, you asked. Did you have any advice? True, I did. Okay. That's your turn. Um. So. I mean, we've kind of talked about what we are looking to do, but with your page, I mean, where do you see it being in the future? I mean, obviously you have a lot of other stuff going on in your life and you're trying to put as much effort into this, but do you have any, you know, goals and plans that you're talking about, like new merch, merchandising that you're trying to do, but is there anything else that that you can say at this point? Yeah. Um, besides making people smile, no, I'm kidding. Um, (laughs) (laughs) I, she doesn't care about that. (laughs) I um, actually, so on New Year's, I posted a story and I was like, what are your resolutions? Because I was like bored wondering what people would say. And one person said to visit more shore towns. And I was like, I feel like I've been to like a lot of them, but I would like to see more of them or all of them. So the gears started turning and I was like, okay, what if I do a New Jersey like road trip with people and like drive around and just like see every county? So... And also, so I'm graduating in May and I was like looking for something to do that like between working and graduating because I want to travel, but I'm kind of broke. So I was like, okay, what could I do? Yeah, I thought you're making millions off this page. That's what we're having you want. <laughs> not <laughs> millions, promos, not so. yet. No, but you're supposed to, you're supposed to boost our followers and fan base. <laughs> <Yeah. along. laughs> All right, wait, let's get the mailman in here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey buddy, get off the street. Come over here. <laughs> so yeah, I think I'm gonna try to plan a new jersey like road trip where all of the like places i go are crowdsourced by the page cool wow and take a couple days to visit like every county that's awesome hikes and and shit (laughs) go on some hike no 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 people in new hampshire know we don't have mountains here we don't have fresh air they're about to (laughs) there's nothing nice here it's just a giant shithole everyone is like you know what new jersey sucks i'm like where do you go in new jersey uh the one girl's like patterson and the other one was like well the turnpike the turnpike (laughs) And I was like, dude, are, are you kidding me? Like, whatever. Like, you don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> like, one of the funniest things was in our group chat when the guy was like, when we were losing to New Hampshire, he was like, all right, guys, I'm going to do it. I'm going to call in Delaware. I was like, don't call in Delaware. <laughs> yeah, I was like, Delaware is, is Delaware just Delaware highways and nothing else. We will get, we will lose <laughs> wait, if they join. Wait, can you say the joke that way? It wasn't Brick said. Who said it? The kid, the joke about like, hey, I'm going to say a joke and it like completely whiffed. Oh, um, the offensive one? It was like, people be, people be calling you George Bush because you're pointlessly starting wars. And I yeah. was like... <laughs> this kid, he, and he said it like before. He's like, I want to say a joke. And then he said it. And then New Hampshire memes is like... CEO of comedy. <laughs> <laughs> it was just rip it off. Okay, that was just... It was, a, it was not a funny bad. joke. I was like, it, first of all, I don't care if you make a political joke. It's funny, but it was like... Bro. <laughs> bro. Yeah. You could do better. You I, hyped it up and it, it, it didn't fell flat. It just whiffed. I mean, New Hampshire... <laughs> New Hampshire's funny. I like that guy. <laughs> I mean, Jerry, where do you see this page in the future? Other than literally kicked off Instagram in about a week. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, I mean, I, I think that the meme page is always going to kind of stay the way it is. I mean, we'll obviously hopefully continue to grow and continue posting things about this county. But I think that we wait, we're doing this podcast because we'd like to branch out in a direction. Because we do, I mean, obviously, you, when it comes to the meme page, are New Jersey as a whole. Yeah. We kind of just focus on Monmouth County. But I think it'd be cool for the podcast to kind of expand and talk to influencers who don't have to necessarily be from Monmouth County and yeah. kind of, you know, Definitely. if possible, I mean, who knows what's going to happen, but, you know, reach people all throughout the state. I think that this is our, you know, bouncing off point and then see where it goes from there. Yeah. You know, that's kind yeah. of the way I look at it. We've already reached out to it. We can't, we don't want to say their names yet, but we reached out to like, a, we, if we do like two podcasts a month, <laughs> Um, we're glad that you could be the first one, but, um, right. Um, cause and the next one, who knows, maybe we'll and get the, a, and the only person. Everyone's Find like, all right, no, uh, Colleen, please. Like, yeah, we'll, we'll drive to you. Don't worry. We'll, we'll come up just for like a two hour podcast and right home. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, I really, I, I agree with that. I mean, I think, you know, this, we, we started this page and it has a great following and we love Monmouth County so much. Me and JR have had personal plans about doing a podcast. I know for a while and we just, we, we know that, you know, we had the ability to do this and now this is something that we can get our heads around and the people we have asked, they're static about it because it's a lot of times like, you know, when you like, when everyone asks you for something on a page, like, you know, like, Hey, can you post this? It feels taxing. But someone's like, if you ask someone like, Hey, you want to come on a podcast, talk about your brand, free marketing. It is. Yeah. They love it though. Like why it's wouldn't they do it? It is free real estate. Um, 
like why wouldn't they do it so i think it's just a cool little thing we're gonna do and you know um you know we're happy to to start it and i've had fun so yeah yeah right we're not holding her at her will here your friends don't have to be worried for your safety it's fine (laughs) I met Some them. Probably are. Yeah, they, they they met me the other night. They're probably oh, yeah. just like we went to Porta. Yeah, they're probably just like <laughs> I was all in right, bed. Watch. Oh, uh, I had my wisdom teeth taken out. He just had his wisdom teeth yeah. taken out. So tragic. They're like, all right, wait, who are you doing the podcast with? Uh, Brick memes. Okay, he's fine. Wait, Monmouth County. Mm-hmm. <laughs> nope. My nah. friends were like, how do you know that kid? And I was like, memes. <laughs> <laughs> like, holy shit. How do you know that? Ah, uh, yeah, I saw him on the street. <laughs> he has like ripped jeans, so I assume he's just like homeless. We vibe. <laughs> yeah, right. I felt bad for him i gave him a follow my favorite thing is the way max looked that night in this picture this one kid posted oh my god oh, this, yeah. our one friend posts pics yeah i feel like girls do this too where they look good in it and then everyone else look just look at my face <laughs> as soon as i got that picture i did the snapchat thing and cut him out him? yeah <laughs> wait how are we with time on that uh, we went over an hour okay um but for the next um uh, we got was it like 10 minutes 13 left? minutes okay good so i just want to say quickly uh we were at this pregame out of nowhere and i, I told jr i called jr on the on the way but as soon as we left and we we're over this house um and this group of girls walk group of girls walk in and i'm sitting with my friends and i think i like one i don't my glass on because i hate wearing my glasses out and i think i'm like is that Colleen? Like out of nowhere, like I'm at this random pregame in Long Branch to go to Port of New Year's Eve and I see her and we both just like, oh my God. And everyone else was looking at us like, wait, what? what? I don't understand. It's yeah. like they didn't, but it was like, out of any place to be because I, 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 so I told weird. her that i was going to report this and that but like yeah i'll see you there something like that just out of no it's just like it's stuff like that you can't even like you can't find a movie it's like it's like no. not it's just like weird like that's like, why i don't even know like who's the only reason i went to that house is because it was my best friend's <laughs> sister who i'm also friends with her co-workers pregame so this is so so random that we showed up here and i ended up knowing someone <laughs> yeah that's that, that no, but it's funny you facetime me i'm like and like in bed watching movies because like i can't move my it's mouth like, and he's like yo colleen just showed up to the pregame out of nowhere crazy. i was like so literally weird, that was funny so, and then you put and then he posted a picture of you on a story said i feel famous <laughs> i feel famous right now um so yeah let's get into uh the final question game so rapid fire it's like a rapid fire 20 questions Right, okay. um i didn't want to send you these beforehand because i want to catch you off guard clearly <laughs> they're really they're really tough questions they are hard they are. all right so first one taylor ham or pork roll pork roll so does central jersey exist yes we're okay. in it <laughs> exactly better pizza new york or new jersey new jersey i guess mm. love that mm. what's your favorite beach to go to um in the state or in, if it's in monmouth county great if I'm just going to the beach, probably like Mammoth Beach because, or like Deal, because there's not like activity. Deal's nice too. Deal yeah. Deal's nice. like dead. But yeah, Mammoth Beach that. is closer to me, so. Exactly. Uh, Stone Pony or PNC? Probably Stone Pony. Um, not sure if you like these movies, but Marvel <laughs> or DC? Oh God. Uh, I don't know. Marvel. Hey, hey did that. <laughs> did that. Favorite artist of all time, music artist. Oh God. Okay. I don't know. I can only think of like current like i really like lizzo right now okay but i can't mm, i like muramasa is i think my favorite it's kind of random yeah hmm. I, I, I don't, I don't yeah. know what it is i mean yeah I you stumped that. us on that <laughs> but we're not cultured jr um <laughs> if you can only have one for the rest of your life would it be pliables or rook this is important because this is a sponsored in yeah. <laughs> if you don't say this this video <laughs> is scrapped rook. no rook. it's serious probably rook i um, like coffee a lot i'm sorry pliables i, I pliables, like pliables for the record i don't drink coffee so one i'm wired right now <laughs> but, but two i'll pick pliables okay um <laughs> go JR. uh surf taco or bubba Q's? Uh, it's hard surf so taco i like I that guess. what do you usually get there um sometimes a like salad but uh maybe like the maverick burrito i think it's called I forget okay. the name honestly i've seen it. i have to look at the menu every time so <laughs> <I forget. laughs> um what is your favorite monmouth county town town um probably like asbury park or red bank hang Respect out it. rumson's cool to drive around in rumson That's road true. No yeah. lights. So, so one no the, lights. Okay, one of the things that I tried to do in the beginning of the account that I haven't been able to keep up with is this like game I always play with my friends who I like take home or like on Snapchat called Country Club or Single Family Home. <laughs> I remember that. And I would love to start that back up, but I need more pictures of houses that look like they could be either. We'll take it for you. So anyone who's listening, 
Yeah, when you're me and JR, that's okay. Quit my we'll job, quit our job. And that's we're just gonna go to Rums and take pick Colts yeah. Neck, maybe. Cold yeah, that's too. what I was thinking. Yeah. I was thinking about driving around Colts Neck. Yeah, we got you while you're at school, don't worry. Okay, cool. It's top priority. Good talk. <laughs> we'll scrap the meme page, just do that. Yeah. Favorite New Jersey mall. Favorite New Jersey mall? Uh, well, I haven't been to the American Dream, so I guess I have to say like We're still hold. trying to. We gotta go. Yeah, I really want to go. You gotta go to Monmouth. It's the worst mall ever, but it's still my favorite. <laughs> I was there today. I have too many like, memories at <laughs> Monmouth Mall for it to not be my favorite. Do you have a favorite tri-state um, area sports team? I don't really, you know, I don't really watch sports. I don't know. I kind of like the Devils because they say that they're from New Jersey, so I feel like I yeah. have to be it's a the only New Jersey Devil. sports team. And, and I'm, they, not, they're a, really and I'm bad. not a Devils fan. I'm a Aren't they really show. bad? I think so. They had like the number one pick, like or like the. I last think they're year like the worst. Before. Yeah. I mean, I just don't really watch yeah. sports. How so. do you feel about putting pineapple on pizza? We're gonna judge you for this. Well, I don't really like pineapple, so like. <laughs> yeah okay all right there it is. <laughs> that's not like not, probably not the answer you wanted but no it, it's good like <laughs> would you eat it but it's pineapple doesn't, and she pizza doesn't, she doesn't like pineapple i mean Why i'll try it? it i just don't like pineapple that much yeah. so. but like if someone like had a half pizza where you got your topping and there's like pineapple on the other side would that just turn, turn you would you have to throw the pizza away or would you still have to eat <laughs> I'd it i'd probably just be like somebody else can have it <laughs> but like <laughs> take it okay. i don't want to get it away from me um, i'm not like vehement about it yeah it's not like just it's not, like an it's not a deal breaker yeah. it is for you it is for me not for me yeah so you don't me. like pineapple no i don't like i'm a pig i'll eat anything <laughs> but like just out of principle like if someone's like like in new jersey when when we went out, i was like we went to visit one of our friends i was like yeah can i have a pork roll egg and cheese when we were in north jersey yeah. and oh, the yeah. lady Always. looked at us i didn't say it loud he i should have said it louder because he was filming i was gonna but, record it but yeah um so the next one would you rather be able to fly or teleport Hmm. I feel like fly would be cool because then you get to like fly over and see places. Teleport, you don't get to like see anything. Yeah, teleporting sucks. <laughs> yeah. You've done it before, right? How is it? <laughs> <laughs> Below average, four to ten. <laughs> four out of ten. Uh, if you could live anywhere other than New Jersey, where would it be? Hmm. Probably somewhere warmer, <laughs> California or Florida. I don't know. I've done California. I'm not a fan. Yeah, no. I don't know. I feel like I have to stay in Jersey now because I'm so I'm rooted. <laughs> yeah, if you if you move, like you have to give the page to someone else. Like, what are you? Gonna... True. <clears throat> we'll take. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we literally imagine we just like literally take it and just make it Mob County memes with like two Z's. <laughs> Z's. I would. Die. <laughs> Some people are the biggest sure county page, the biggest county page in the world. Yeah, so guys, we just we just gave Colleen like ten thousand dollars. <laughs> people already always ask me, they're like, "Do you run that page too?" And I'm like, "No." What kind of time do you think I have? No, obviously I make good content, so <laughs> no. clearly I'm not in charge of that one. Those guys suck. Um, what is your favorite like throwback middle school like s song like whether it's like Kesha like. Ooh. Cause you you were like listening to like Metro Station. I saw on your story the other night that like that's some good stuff. Yeah, I went to a bar and you know those like jukeboxes. You yeah. put like a dollar into it to suggest a song. My friend and I spent like an hour trying to decide what song to spend a dollar on, and we decided <laughs> on "Shake It" by Metro Station. Um, Great. Anyway, if not something like that or like My Chemical chemical romance probably like they're getting back together didn't i hear yeah it? they're gonna be in um at atlantic LA city something? no i think oh, atlantic I think city they're doing like a big this summer like where well, there's warp tour there i think i heard <laughs> something like that Catch we'll, we'll me go there. yeah um you heard it here first if you want to meet my new jersey memes <laughs> go to yeah go to warp tour. <laughs> don't worry we won't come so it's, uh, <laughs> you won't have to meet us yeah. it's fine yeah it's probably that or like something ridiculous like any like Pitbull. specific song though buy you a drink by tp <laughs> Wow. Okay. Well, we're just, we're, we're just talking about low. We we're talking about hotel, low. motel. Oh my god. Hotel, motel, holiday. Just yeah. like Dolly. Oh he always throws like little things like Dolly in there, Mister Three Hundred Five. Like Hell he yeah. loves Mr. that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what so, is your favorite line from any movie or this show? Is hard. I couldn't come up with this an is answer. Hard. For this. I don't. Yeah. Like, I have like ADD. I'm so energetic. I don't. I don't watch things. Get distracted and stop watching halfway through. Um. <laughs> um the same way. Damn. I don't know. I have to. What's wrong with you guys? I'll take a rain check on that one. Okay, so. we'll go back to it. Um, so, if you had to eat one meal for the rest of your life, what would it be? Probably some sort of like Asian food, or I really like salad, but it's a kind of boring one. So, <laughs> chicken Caesar salad, or nah, I don't really. 
something like exciting has like a lot of stuff in it i don't know cob salads are good <laughs> i try and eat salad but I'll, like i'll just be like all right i'll feel better about myself and then i'll like can you throw breaded chicken on there and no. that's like, not healthy anymore. yeah you gotta you put other stuff on there no max like, only likes ranch dressing that's it no, he, just eats ranch. He, he drinks ranch out of the bottle i've taken a break because i'm on a diet but <laughs> i can't I've, I've stopped from ranch he tried to get around the chair over there before he's like fuck i gotta lose weight <laughs> I've been on, a, uh, I'm doing like uh, fasting, 12 hour fast. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I considered doing that a while ago. I don't, actually lost a bunch of weight last year, so. Here's another important question Bruce Springsteen or Bon Jovi? Bruce Springsteen. Exactly. The boss. We have that behind. Yeah. Um, last one. Last most question. Most important. If you get this, this wrong, if you get this oh, wrong this we're is, not even going to air the podcast. Yeah, we're not. This is just, yeah. Um, what is your favorite county in the entire state of New Jersey? <laughs> Salem. No, I'm kidding. Mom and County. Mom and County. <laughs> exactly. That's what I'm saying. Mom it's like a hundred in or something like that. Like out of nowhere. <laughs> so yeah, you want to carry that up, Jared? All right. So I guess this is this is the end. We're approaching the end of our time here. Um. So you know, kind of like regardless of the notoriety or followers we get that we've gained through MCM and through the podcast, uh, one of the greatest things we've gotten to do is really get to know. Uh, other pages, other people in New Jersey, other even out of state, New Hampshire memes. I mean, so many people that we talk to on a daily basis. It's been a really good experience and um, retweet. So, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I'm hoping we get to go up there sometime. They invited us to come, like them in Bedford too. Yeah, um, Bedford actually says she has a friend in Rumson. Um, that's weird. I don't know. It's like the apocalypse <laughs> is going on outside. We'll have to finish this quick. Uh, World War Three is actually happening. So Th- Thanos just got <laughs> you heard here. It here first. Um, so Colleen has become such a good friend after a short time. I'm hoping we in Overheard, New Jersey, are able to meet up and get lunch soon. Obviously, she's going back to school. Um, I'm just not looking to do any Porta New Year's Eve anytime soon again. So maybe by next year, That's I'll expensive. be in a different. It's expensive. It's just, oh, God, it was it was a black hole of a night. <laughs> I thought he would have learned after last year. It was such a disaster. I do that all the time. What I'll do is I'll go out for like a three weeks straight or whatever and then i'll be like dude i can never go again that was horrible and then i'll take a break and they'll be like oh uh, you know it's dj's wasn't that bad it was that bad and it only gets worse so um once again uh thank you for taking time yeah. to come out um and be our first um you know guest on the mcm podcast i want to say thank you to everyone else for listening um you know we have some other very cool and interesting guests coming in the future but, you know, Colleen, the fact that she was able to come up, you know, before, you know, she goes back to school. That's so cool of her. Once again, you could find her at New Jersey Memes. She'll be at like one million by the end of this podcast. Um, <laughs> yeah, <yes. okay. laughs> so, yeah, just thank you very much, guys, for listening. If there's anything you guys got to say before we go, chime in. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, thank you for I really coming. I appreciate all of the support. It's yeah. Awesome. yeah. Keep following. We need to get to 200,000 by the end of this month. Yeah, we got to beat her. We got to beat her. The race, the 200K. It's like us versus T-Series. Yeah, Beauty Pie T-Series, Smallmouth County memes versus New Jersey memes. It's going to be great. Okay, thank you very much, guys. See you next time. See you next time.